I don't know where you got that 4,000 extra from. <laughs> Swinging on in. Nice break. Good. Okay. Landed behind us. Oh, okay. It just it just ends. Sudden death. What does this mean? YouTube, what is going on, legends? Coach District here, and this week we've got an insane coaching session with a master working on the skills that you will need if you want to be able to drop easy and consistent 4,000 damage in 20 bomb games. Each week we take our best or favorite coaching session and upload it to YouTube so that you guys can hopefully get some insight on what you are doing right and what you're doing wrong. This session in particular, we focus heavily on the mindset that we want to be the first to do everything, the first to push up, the first to peek, back off, make or play, re-engage. Acting is always going to be easier than reacting, and today's gameplay proves that. Now, as always, these coaching sessions are long, so if you want to see the entire session, you can do so by subscribing to my website where I have all sorts of guides, reviews, or full coaching sessions to learn from, or you can always book a coaching session with me. 1v1 skills, rank skills, overall fundamental skills, all is available with the link in the description down below. But you know what else is below? And even free? My number one favorite tool to help me and my students get better at Apex or any other video game, and that is Outplayed. Outplayed is a tool that doesn't just record your gameplay, but can be set up to also clip only the things that matter to you. Set it up to clip kills, deaths, assists, wins, knocks, and so much more. I'm always using Outplayed to see how I died and how I could change things in the future. And with it being completely free, easy to use, and downloadable by clicking the link in the description down below, I don't see a reason not to use it. With that being said, let's hop into this week's coaching session. As always, if you learned something, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Now let's get into it. Okay, so you know the drill. Let's yep. see what is going on. I'll swap on over to Wraith as well. We got double prestige Wraiths battling off. All right, I'll meet my mic for these first couple ones. Let's just kind of see what's happening here. There you are. Now, for the people who aren't familiar with my coaching sessions, I always like to start off really slow and just pay a lot of attention to how players are peaking moving around, pushing in and out, managing their health. Oh, in the I session here that. today, the person that we've been working with for the last few months now has made massive improvements. Uh, whenever he goes to make a move or whenever he goes to peak, oh. he doesn't keep himself in the open for that long, making sure that he's really doing a good job of keeping that health up. And a lot of what we focused on today oh, is how that. well he uses that extra health to make plays. Oh, I this up. I got cocky at the end. A little bit, a little bit. But your pushes all the way up, like they were really quick. I was noticing that when I was yeah. backing off, yeah. you would put pressure, you would immediately move up. Like that is getting so good, so quick. It's just the consistency okay. at how much you're trying to move up. Uh, we can work We can work on that yeah. a little bit. How quick you are though, is really good. You're really snappy, you're okay. getting really snappy with it. I think it's like, I know the order of operations. I just don't do it every time or there's like brain lag. All good, all good, I saw that. Yeah. Why did I do that, Chris? Oh, God, that's a cop. <laughs> oh. Me. Engagement is way better. You quit reloading so much, you're just reloading too often, and that's why you're giving yourself lots of issues. Nice follow through. Really quick with the move. Nice. From what I'm seeing here, it looks a lot like your dead slides, your non-stop dead slides are coming simply because your gun's in your hand and it's because you're reloading so often, right? So you're getting all those extra dead slides yeah. for no reason. So dude, just push with the half mag. Swap to your secondary because you're trying to get the kill, right? So you're shooting. Mm -hmm. Swap to the secondary. 
Then when you push up, awesome. If you really need to, you'll swap back to that last half meg. Just play with the extra half meg. Right? Use it like a last resort. Or if you're not feeling comfortable shooting half that meg, because maybe he's still really healthy, and you're not comfortable hitting that. All good, who cares? Holster just back off. So less reloading. Right. Less reloading, play with the half meg. I think you're going to be just fine. Those dead slides are going to stop instantly. I That took way too long to reload versus the the first few times I did it. It's shoot, <laughs> holster, and then unholster, slide jump, right? Yeah, so we're going unholster, reload, slide. Oh, I think I realized it. And you'll finish the reload about that a second problem. after you hit the ground. I see. What I'm... I'm doing wrong is I'm pressing the holster button way too late, so I'm starting it way too late. You're holstering and sliding yeah. out from the cover. We're not doing it on the way. Sorry, could you say that again? I got confused about that. Yep. So we're holstering on the way into cover on holster we're yeah. sliding out as opposed to holster out and slide out in one motion. So holster in, unholster out. Holster in, unholster out. Oh, that was a good one. What the? This is a tough decision. You backed away though. Nice. Nice. I messed up my wall jump. You slowed me down. I'm going to back off. You're listening. For my sound. Yeah. It's, it's hard with the little health you had. Now, the only thing that you could have done better is once you realize when I was kind of like playing and jumping around this rock here, once you realize, oh, district or my opponent is on the other side, you have two options. If you are not comfortable in that moment doing something, then just back off. Hello, right? You're either you're either pushing in or you're pulling out, but you waiting and like, where's he going? Where's he? Is he over here? Now he's over here. Is he jumping? Is he ducking? You're reacting. Exactly. I'm happy that you noticed that. All right. So again, your goal always is I'm trying to move up. I'm trying to act and I'm either acting by being aggressive and pushing forward or by peeking or I'm acting in a defensive manner by backing off and peeking. That's still too long. I hit that? What the? Shot. Ah! I thought I saw you running away, not coming at me. I did. I backed off so you wouldn't push me. But now there was no pressure, yeah. so I just moved up off of it. I'm either acting by moving up or acting by moving back. But I'm not going to act by waiting to see what happens. When, when I when I play against you, I also feel like there was several, like, three, four moments where I could have cracked your shield if I put all the damage I would put on all those small peaks together. Well, so I feel like I'm missing out. I know I'm not thinking about it the right way, but like that's what's going through my brain right now. I'm thinking, yeah, like, dude, so, you're missing out so many times. Think of it like the stock market, right? The stock market is constantly going up and down, up and down, up and down. There's tons of opportunities to sell and buy. Sell, yeah. you're going to make money. Buy, you're going to make money. It's nonstop. No matter what way it moves, you can make money. It's the same thing here. There's plenty of opportunities where someone is in the open or isn't looking, where you can move or you can shoot. But the thing is, is that you're never right. going to be able to catch every single one of those things. So if you miss a chance, it does not matter. You're going to create another chance. Uh, so it makes more sense to just go for the big guy. Yeah, like, again, you're you're catching all of these little small fish, a little bit of peaks here, a little bit of peaks there. But your goal is to get into the end where you can force a big 
lay. Just that go is for the, the big main. tuna instead. Exactly. That should have hit. Dead side. Come on. Where are you going? No pressure, I'm gonna start working my way on up. Pressure you back, you set to swing up a little bit. You have to look away. How? Where the f- I downed an enemy. I'm in the air. What the f What was that? Was that a fatigue jump? Yeah. There's <laughs> like six of them. I'm too preoccupied with the reload stuff, I'm not really thinking, but... No, it's all good. As long as you're practicing it, you're chilling. Yeah. It just feels weird because I feel like I'm like versus my old the old way I was approaching, I feel like I'm neutering a lot of my options to hit you. But Well again, eh. you're trying to get damage off of your peaks a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Which is very reactionary if that person is or yeah. isn't in the open. Right? Yeah. Sometimes we obviously want to keep the gun in the hand in case he is in the open, right? We're reacting off of the off yeah. chance he is, right? Which is t fine. But we yeah. want to rely more on just getting that body close so that we can force the damage. Right? Don't be so hung up on, oh, I couldn't get a little bit of damage on that one instant. It, it is what it is. You either get it or you don't. Who cares? Right? But try to force okay. as much as possible. There you go, way quicker with your pushes, way more aggro from you. Oh, there you are. What the fuck? Is that a tap strafe? Yeah, I hit a wall jump tap strafe around the corner. Always the movement tech that gets me. Listen, oh, I see what you mean now. Where the f okay? <clears throat> Whoa! I did not expect you to be there. You were just in my face. If you're what's going on, let's go hop into some matches. Only difference here is that I'm just really quick at moving around. Yeah. But again, the reason I why I'm so quick is I'm trying to force you to get quicker at your pushes. The quicker that you can get back on me, yeah. the more you're going to notice in-game, it's just super easy. I'm, I'm really going hard on you. Okay. Oh, there's people here. I do not like this situation. Yeah, it's a little funky. I'm gonna kind of just back up here a little bit. What the? Who are you? Well, um, you might be able to bleed out and just respawn. I don't know how long it is. God damn, bro. Oh, can I get this bleed out in time? So, when you die, you respawn. Oh, I can't break off from you, that's cool. Um, you respawn on your team that's still alive. But if your whole team yeah. dies, then you respawn. Oh, right here. Okay. They're reviving on the inside.
Holy shit, dude. That was a lot of in and out, in and out, in and out, bro. I felt like a fucking penis right there. Hey, cool. Team just landed on the roof. I'm gonna make sure that I'm starting to look I for... think that was the teammate. No, outside. Oh, uh, okay. Actually, he's on the inside. Okay, teammates instant knock, standing in the open. All good, all good. Between you and me, down low here. On the dead. Swinging on in. Break broke. Break dead. I am lagging like crazy. Crypto's pulling on up. Adding. So right now we're capturing points. It's like nobody believes in light ammo. Jeez. I have some if you need. Come to me here. I'll drop right here. Two stacks right here. I swear I just heard this guy. He's on the outside left. Oh, there he is. Team just landed on the roof, so now we want to start phasing to the building. What the fuck? Got shit on. I didn't even see that guy, bro. Damn, so we're not even we're we're in eleventh place right now right now. Now we're down in fifteenth. We have zero points. I thought you get points from getting like damage and I stuff. I guess you have to fully cap it. Yeah. Okay. So let's try and capture this zone here. Yeah. So they're on the other side of that building. Okay. <laughs> it closes and the bag goes away, bro. Uh they were supposed to fix that. Lock him out. Almost one mag this guy. Keep this guy locked into the open if I can. Last one's right here. Right here. A new team. New team. So bad, right? I'm backing up and playing life. I'm wrapping on this side. Remember, fall back, fall back. You're so invested. Oh, I stuck. Way too invested. All right. I had more I... help than you. I backed off and played oh, life. I got cocky on that. I should have played the edge. You should have also been just constantly creating space. As much as you were trying to be doing damage, you should have also been trying to create all of that space. Well, I thought I could swing on him because he wasn't really doing anything to me. But still, even then, what if he does? It doesn't matter if he's not, because he can always do it. Okay, so now... Oh, we're in first place now. There's no one there. How did that happen? Oh! So, pop under in the open. He's in... We hurt. How did that dude? I literally heard the bullet connect and no reg. Top of that. Well, cool, you're making a play to move up. All good, sweet. What's that ah! looking like? Whatever. Ooh, that's an upgrade. That's an ugly skin. Backing up a little bit so I can pop a cell and reload my guns. Alright. You actually quit?
Yeah, taste my cojones, bitch. Alright, we need to go find a spot to I capture. Hear more, more, more. Where? Oh. Another one behind us. Dude. The same break. He's swinging on us very stupidly. God damn, bro. That whole team just in the open? What the fuck? Oh, uh, don't you. So, in that fight before, why would I have created space, though? Because you, there were so many people around you. What happened? What, what are you going to do when you get pushed? You're just fucked. You're taking nonstop damage back off. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I'm always now. trying to push, yeah, but I'm always trying to back off. The closer you are, the easier it is to swing. Yeah, because I didn't know he had a teammate so close to him. I thought it was just him pushing like an idiot by himself. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're stealing it. I'll take it. Give me that zone! I got a Devo. Hey, now we get two zones. Pushing up. <laughs> Over here with a few shots. All right, so now we have all this audio in front of us. I'm gonna just pad forward here. Here. And it should get my shields back. Thank you. Yeah, I'm constantly getting. Oh, I pain. love PC aim assist. Right here. One back. I have all this audio, so I'm gonna pressure my way forward. Lots on this left side. Okay, I'm giving you a safety Locked port on in. your back left. Oh shit. Oh, we should be behind you. Behind us? Teammate, you gotta stay alive. Yes, teammate. Huge. Thank God I get to keep my Devo. Oh, it only has like one mag left in it. It just it just ends sudden death sudden death what does this mean so i think now if you die you die there's no more respawns so these are the last few teams you know what fuck it we're gonna go right here one team here laying on the roof laying on the roof yeah. The high ground. Great dead, pop in the back. No! Right, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm giving you a board. On the roof, on the roof, on the roof! Remember, if you get if you're dead, you're dead, that's it. Armor swapping. Let's try to move a little bit left to control a little bit more of the zone. Now everyone is basically stuck in front of us and they all have to come towards us. Now we're just holding everyone out. Right here. Yeah, nice. We just killed the ballistic. On. One far left. Oh, fuck. Team dead, nice. Right here. Last team. Remember, they have to come to us. Go back to zone. 
Go back to the ring close. Yeah. And hold this team out from pushing on out. They're probably gonna here, their their drones down. This is probably one of the best times to right here. cross up a little bit. Battering. Battering, yeah. Kobe. Oh, I almost have an ammo, bro. I have two mags left. Fuck. Yeah, they're just gonna play the MP. I'm instant battering. They're gonna already be pushing up. I'm battering too. Thank god I found some ammo. They're pushing up somewhere. Almost knocked Pathfinder. So now, right, we're just poking and peeking. We need to be doing to damage left. to make a play. All the damage we're putting in has to be for Force plays. Damage, right? yep. Oh my god, I'm punching the air. On that tree. Yeah, I got a nade. Kobe. Nothing. They're pushing up on me. Nice. Ripped in the open. Nice Pathfinder last one. 1v1. Nice. GG. Now you notice, right? They kept breaking us over and over and over again. Yeah, but, but they, they couldn't never, put but they never, place on that. They never pushed, exactly. Yeah. So, and again, same thing with us is like we were getting breaks over and over and over again. But we were never making an effort to be moving up, whether it be with the portal or a phase or a Bangalore or alt or smokes. Right? We could have very yeah. easily. Oh damn! I dropped a six k that game. Oh fuck you! Okay. I'll take you. I'll take it. I'll take it, bro. GG. I did not see that Bruh. coming. I didn't even. Oh. I, I thought maybe a three k.